Okay, we're here for Cody's session. Now, one of Cody's issues is really separation anxiety. He, and also getting overexcited. Now, we've already spent some time during the session going over a bunch of things, but he gets very worked up when his guardian comes home. I'm gonna show you how you can use the fourth quadrant of operant conditioning, which is BF Skinner, to help your dog learn to relax and calm down when you come home. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera and I'm gonna guide the guardian through this. She's gonna come up and open the gate and she's gonna open her door, and then as soon as the dog shows any excitement, she's gonna step back outside. The negative part of a uh, fourth quadrant of operant conditioning is a negative punishment. Negative means to deduct something from the equation. So in this case, the human is going to take herself away from the dog when the dog shows he's too excited. I'm going to, this is going to be an interesting transition. I'm going to take the camera and then we're going to keep on filming. All right. All right. So uh, go ahead and uh, let's see if I get, hold on one second. Let me see if I can see. I don't, oh, he's right at the door. Okay. <laughs> okay, so open it just a crack. Close it. Now his energy isn't actually super high right now. Okay. Um, normally he would be a lot more excited. So this is, <coughs> we, would have, we would have stayed a little bit fur a long, further away or longer away, but we realized there was a window that was open. Go ahead and open it again. Okay, all the way. <coughs> Don't let him out though. Okay, oh. That's all right. Um, so, all right, so let me uh, go ahead and put it back in. Go on in. <coughs> Come here. And then step back out. All right, so now what I would have you do is um, when you're here, I'm just gonna kind of describe this. When you're here and you can see through the window that it's open or we have slats that he normally sticks his nose through. <clears throat> when he's very excited, he's in an unbalanced state of mind, just like us. And if we come in, that's rewarding that unbalanced state of mind. So what we wanna do instead is we're gonna wait outside the apartment for him to settle himself down. He can see you're here. And he's all excited. So make sure all the windows and stuff are closed so we don't have to worry about that. Uh -huh. And there he's going to try to open it right, right there himself. I think he's sticking his nose there. Yep. Uh -huh. um, so then what we do is we wait for him to settle down. When his energy tells us he's nice and calm, Okay. the next step was we would open the door just a crack. So go ahead and open the door just a crack. Don't let him out, though. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. So uh, you're, I'm sorry. Put your hand on the door and then just close it again. So what we're doing is we're basically recreating the entry. And what we're saying for the fourth quadrant is every time you get overexcited, the human, that causes the human to leave. Well, but I want you, there he goes now, he's a little bit more excited, he's probably gonna go over this window over here, we'll see. Yep, there he is, smart, Australian cattle dog, smarties. All right, knock on the door. And he's gonna run, come running around, there we go. So go ahead and uh, jiggle the handle just a lot, make a lot of noise with your keys. Now his excitement, it's hard to see completely through this window, but he's his, his not bouncing around. The idea is we want to simulate the excitement level when you come home, and as soon as he calms down, then you start entering the, entering the process. As soon as he gets excited, that causes you to stop and leave the apartment. Okay. So this will be on again, off again. Now normally, in California, this is hard to do because people don't have yards usually. Um, in the Midwest, people have, uh, well, I'm, everybody has yards too here, but they have a screen door. Yeah. And right now we don't, we just have one door. So once you open the door, he can come out. But we're in a little deck that has a little gate here. So we can, if he does get out, he, we don't have to worry about him escaping. All right, so now he's breathing a little bit heavy. I can see his mouth open. Uh, this is a little stressful because normally you don't hang out out here. Yeah. So open it just a crack. And if he gets up, I want you to close the door. Close it. A little bit faster next time. We don't want to hurt him. Okay. But we want to know as soon as you got up, and it's not necessarily getting up. What we'd be looking at in the future is his him showing signs of excitement. Okay. Because remember, excited is not necessarily happy. Okay. And so you see him breathing. His mouth is a little bit open. Uh-huh. Uh, go ahead and open it again. And he's nice and calm. Oh. So you, that's okay. But now we can go ahead, because we're simulating this. I wanted to actually stay out longer, but we, we just realized it's only been a minute because the window was open. Okay. So the idea is what we teach him, and you can, let's go ahead and grab your uh, phone, and we can go back inside real okay. quick. We'll, we'll finish this real quick. So basically what we're saying is when I come home, now here's the other thing, is when you come home, mm -hmm. if he's excited and you pet him, yeah. you're gonna be amplifying that excitement. Okay. So when you come home, if he shows any excitement, you step outside immediately. So go ahead and step out outside and close the door behind you. So he can't follow you is the whole point. And so you see his mouth is open, we call that dry panting. See, hey, knock on the door. So jiggle it a little bit. Oh, there, this is much better. This is what we were looking for. All right, open it just a crack. Tell him to sit. Sit. Close the door. Now, normally when you're doing this, uh, I wouldn't have him 
I wouldn't necessarily tell him to sit, I would want him to sit, but right now because we're simulating this, we're kind of making it a little bit more challenging. Go ahead and jiggle the handle a little bit. Sit, sit. Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. All right, go ahead and open it a crack. Should I tell him to? And yeah, tell him to sit. Sit. There you go, open it all the way. And don't pet him. Oh. Uh, that's okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and come on in and I'll kind of, uh, I'm gonna hand you my phone and we'll kind of summarize this real quick. All right, careful. Camera's right there. All right, so if you wanna step a little bit further away so we can get both in the shot. Um, all right, so basically what we're doing is we're saying when I come home, if you're excited, it causes me to leave. And as soon as you settle down, then I start the process of coming in. But I, if you have the windows open, you can actually see in from outside. And so, you know, if like he's wiggling like this or he's dry panting, he's bouncing around, then we wait. And as soon as he settles down, he stops moving, then I jiggle the handle, make it as noisy as possible before I actually open the door, just simulate that one step. And, it, and you'll see him get up and move around and then, and then just stop. So as soon as he gets excited, everything stops. And then you're gonna jiggle it a couple more times and eventually the jiggling doesn't cause him to get as excited. He's being a little bit desensitized. Then we're gonna open the, uh, put their key in the lock and, and open it just a little tiny bit and as he gets excited again, close the door and step outside. You're gonna keep on repeating this process. What we're trying to do is, is outlast and let the, uh, the excess energy and that excitement level flush through. And once he's nice and relaxed, then we actually come in. Now, when we come in, if he's excited, we pet him. When he's jumping up, we're telling him, petting me is the good way to get me to jump up on you. So what we're gonna do instead, I'm gonna move over here. I just realized I'm probably gonna be backlit with a big right window. Um, so what we're gonna do is, when he's calm, I start to engage with him. As soon as he gets excited, I withdraw. As long as he stays to a relatively excited, but not boisterous and out of control. If he gets boisterous and out of control, then immediately step back outside. And so your excitement causes me to leave. Now he's a dog with separation anxiety, so we're want, we want him to develop control over his emotions, or at least develop some control for them. And so if we leave, and this is the greeting ritual, every time we come in, he's gonna start being calmer faster, because that gets you to come in. Now the last little tip, uh, we didn't uh, film the beginning, when we left, the guardian said goodbye, gave us some pets, made a little bit of a production for that. Go for your finger. Um, and for dogs, uh, if we uh, make a big production when we leave, they're like, oh, you're leaving, it's the end of the world. So we want to just be nonchalant when we show up. When I come and go, we don't want to make that an exciting time. Most of us, like I said, we excite, confuse excited for happy, but excited is an unbalanced state of mind when the dog is going to be apt to make more mistakes. So we want to be nice and calm when we come and we go. And if we leave, it's a calm, non-event, then I don't get as worked up when you leave. Now we also went over teaching the dog how to stay and some other things that are gonna help the dog develop some more control and respect for the guardian as a, guardian as a leader. All these things are gonna uh, have a cumulative effect on him and help him be more calm and balanced. Cody, now if you can see Cody, he's not doing it now, but he was breathing heavy. Breathing heavy is a sign of stress as well. So I'm pretty sure that just even though the guardian was just on the other side of the door, that was hard for him to deal with. That's why we taught the dog to stay and the guardian's gonna practice having him stay while she's in the house to help him develop that skill set. Cody, here one more time. This is Cody, and these are some tips and tricks you can use to help a dog stay calm when you return to your home.